This is a quick video how to save as JPEG. If you only have standard edition, it's a workaround. I'm going to go really quick here. First, I'm going to start off by making sure I have the grid turned off. You want the solid white background. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my line style. I want to change these red lines here because I don't want to, them to show up red in my final design. You can turn them off. I'm going to make them black just because I like that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my search bar in Windows and I'm going to type snipping tool. There we go. This little box shows up here. Next thing I'm going to do is I want to make this as big as I can and keep it in my screen. So to do that, I'm going to use this zoom function here. So I'm going to click on that, hold down my left mouse key button, and I'm going to zoom until I get it where I want it. Now let me move that around here. Okay, so now it fits in my screen. I like to make it as big as possible so it gets a better quality snip, and then I can resize it when I go to print, if I want to print at Walgreens or something. So let's open back that snipping tool again. I'm going to close this line style thing just to get it out the way. Let's bring snipping tool up. So I'm going to go to new here. That's going to create a new snip. What a snipping tool, what snipping tool does is basically it's like creating a screen capture, almost like a screenshot, but you get to let, select the exact zone that you want. So we're going to select new here and I'm going to start off down here. So your screen will turn gray like this and then I'm going to start there and I'm going to drag my box all the way up to make sure it goes around my letters. You have to hold down the left mouse key while you're doing this. Once you release, it takes the snapshot of that screen. So everything's in there. So I'm going to go with that. You see it did the snip here. So now all I need to do is save this. So I'm going to go to file, save as, and then you can select JPEG. It should already be selected. There is PNG. Don't let that fool you. It might be just my computer, but that doesn't save as good of quality as the JPEG does in this particular um, program, not program, but the particular snipping tool option. Like I said, it might just be my computer. So I'm going to call this 2021. Um, congrats. I have this design in my group where I show you how there's a video show you how to use it. It's also on my YouTube channel. Um, so we're basically going to go with that, go with save. Now it's saved. So I'm going to close the snipping tool. And so we're back on our original design. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to merge it in just so you can see that, um, the quality of it. So let's go merge. It's right here and you'll see it looks just as good as the design on the screen. Let's enlarge this here. I just want to point this out. This is a blurry picture. I started off with a blurry picture for this one, so it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with the save function. So this is the JPEG that we just saved. This is the original design on the computer. So there you go. All set.